Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Windows Server 2022 versus 2019 versus 2016 and what's the major differences between all of these three editions of Windows Server. So let's get started with Windows Server 2022. Now throughout this video, we will be talking about the notable features of each Windows Server version, the deprecated features and the editions available for download. So let's talk about the Windows Server 2022's notable features. So Microsoft released Windows Server 2022 with a host of new features missing from the previous iterations of operating system. Now some of the most notable features include server and network support improvements. Now Windows Server 2022 came with much needed server management upgrades. It can support servers up to 48 terabytes of RAM and 2048 logical cores running on 64 physical sockets. Additionally, it is compatible with Intel's set of third generation Xeon scalable server processors. Other than that, we have improvement to storage management. Now, Windows Server 2022 came out with a markedly improved storage management feature. It introduced enhanced caching, improved hard drive error checks and repairs, and REFS file snapshots. Other than this, we have the more comprehensive Azure support. Now, Microsoft has always been at the forefront of cloud development. Windows Server 2022 would serve as another testament to this fact. Some of its best highlights include automated VM management, greater .NET application support, improved server management, and enhanced admin center reporting, which is the Windows admin support. The next notable feature is actually the improved application support. Microsoft Windows Server 2022 features new optimized updates of container applications. It also has enhanced support for large-scale business applications such as Microsoft SQL Server 2022. Now this is largely due to its ability to accommodate more RAM and a new CPU architecture with greater cores. After that, let's talk about the deprecated features of Windows Server 2022. So starting off, we have the Internet Storage Name Service or ISNS. The sconfig, which is not completely deprecated, but Microsoft has stopped development on the server configuration tool and plans to completely remove it from the next iteration of Windows Server. And then we have the guarded fabric and shielded virtual machines, which was a feature that allowed virtual machines to run exclusively on guarded host. After that, Microsoft also deprecated the Windows deployment services and also local security authority protocol interface. Now if you were to talk about the Windows Server 2022 additions, then we have the standard edition, we have the essentials edition, we have the data center and the data center for Azure. Now this data center Azure was never present for the previous iterations of Windows Server. Anyways, now let's talk about the Microsoft Windows Server 2019. So we are going to start off with the notable features of Microsoft's Windows Server 2019 and the first and the foremost is the Windows Admin Center. Now Microsoft had originally showcased it as a project during the Ignite conference in 2017. Now it's an all-in-one administrative tool that uses the modern web interface. Today, it is considered one of the Microsoft Windows Server's most innovative new features. Next up, we have the security and storage enhancement. Now Microsoft included improvements to Windows Defender Advanced, Threat Protection and Shielded Virtual Machines in the release of Windows Server 2019. And they also introduced a few tweaks to how drives were managed. Now these improvements included new migration services, Storage Space Direct and Storage Replica. Other than that, we have the container services. Now Windows Server 2019 introduced support for container services such as Tigra, Kubernetes and Docker. Additionally, it features support for Linux containers as well. Next up, we have the improved administrative tools. In addition to the inclusion of the Windows Admin Center, Windows Server 2019 included new system insights, easier deployment through setup dialog and integrated to OpenSSH. Now let's talk about the Windows Server 2019's deprecated features. So the first and the foremost is one sync service. After that, we have the key storage in Hyper-V, Windows filtering platform, lightweight filter switch. Then we had something known as the Trust Platform module, which was TPM, its management console. We had remote differential compression, API support, and the host guardian services for Active Directory attestation mode. All of these features were deprecated in Windows 2019. Again, the next we are going to discuss is the additions that are available for Windows Server 2019 and the first and the foremost is again standard, followed up by essentials and data center. As I mentioned in the previous section that data center Azure was not a part of the previous iterations of Windows Server. So that is why in 2019, you did not get data center for Azure. Anyways, let's move on to Microsoft Windows Server 2016, starting off with its notable features. So the first and the foremost is the Active Directory Federation Services Improvement. 
So users can configure the ADFS features to authenticate users stored in the known Active Directories in Microsoft Windows Server 2016. After that, one major feature was the integration of Windows Defender. This 2016 version of Windows Server featured integrated Windows Server LT malware. Now it was configured and enabled by default. After that, we had improved remote desktop service support. Because this iteration of Windows Server featured improved remote desktop performance and stability. Additionally, Microsoft added support for OpenCL 1.1 and OpenGL 4.4. After that, we had new storage services. Now Windows Server 2016 added storage replicas and central storage QoS policies. Now one last notable feature was the web application proxy improvements. So in 2016 version of Windows Server, it offered HTTP to HTTPS redirection, propagation of client IP addresses and pre-authentication for HTTP basic application publishing. After these notable features, let's talk about the deprecated features of Windows 2016. Well, First and foremost was the Software Quality Metrics SQM. After that, we had Tablet for PC General Reader Platform component and then Share and Storage Management Span for MMC. After that, there was a command which was exe slash detect now, which was used for updates in the PowerShell was also deprecated. Then we had the sconfig.exe, which was a tool but deprecated in 2016. After that, there was another tool which was the SC Registry Edit, which was also deprecated. Now if you talk about the additions of Windows Server 2016, then we had Essentials, Standard and Data Center. Again, we do not have the Data Center for Azure. Now if you want to still read about more information about the difference between these three iterations of Windows Server, then you can simply check out the blog linked in the description box. Other than that, if you have learned anything new, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.